school budget votes and school board elections take place tomorrow in the suburbs. One of the heated races is in West Seneca, where a candidate for the school board is also a student. News 4's Jen Sean spoke to him and his dad. Jen. Nalina, Matthew Poole joins seven other candidates on the ballot tomorrow. They're vying for three available seats on the West Seneca Central School District Board. Poole is just 18. The West Seneca East senior says it was his sophomore year when he started considering a school board run. It was that year he noticed electives were getting cut. Over 21 electives have gotten cut from the two high schools, and I saw they were cut contractually and not necessarily fiscally. Matthews relied on his dad, Mark, to be his campaign manager. With the help of about nine volunteers, they've spent the last several months canvassing all over West Seneca. It's been absolutely amazing as a father to see people in the community come out to help their son. It's a feeling that you just can't express. Poole supports term limits for board members and wants to reevaluate school related taxes. Bringing a student perspective to the board is a huge thing, and so is reviving cut classes. Residents will also weigh in on the district's proposed $116.8 million budget, which ups the tax levy by 1.6%, and also includes more than half a million dollars from the district's capital reserve to purchase new buses. And since he's had perfect attendance this year, Poole has been granted a field day tomorrow. I won't be absent, but I'll be in the school parking lot for around 14, 15 hours talking to voters and hopefully getting them to vote for me. Poole is not the only younger candidate running for a position on a school board. In Amherst, there's Max Medwin, who graduated from Amherst Central High School in 2015. And you may remember earlier this year, 18-year-old Austin Herrig attempted unsuccessfully to oust Carl Palladino from the Buffalo City School Board. Reporting from West Seneca, Jen Shah.